Okay, so uh, this uh, work is about proposing a new uh, use of Modelica, uh, which is uh, optimization in a complex value chain. So to explain it, we will go through four steps. Uh, firstly, explaining the problematic, uh, then the physical model, how we did the, uh, the resolution in Modelica, and at the end, the perspective for Modelica with some comparison with different other products that could do the same thing. So the problematic is that uh, the uh, industrial paradigm is about to shift from a classical industry where we have big processes with uh, a lot of raw materials, a lot of waste and byproducts, and it's mainly waste, and a small amount of products. And we are about to shift for environmental reasons to uh, a new paradigm of industry where we have uh, a lot of interconnected processes uh, with different sets of products and substances. Uh, so the difference between two is that in industrial, in, in process engineering, here we have to optimize and to make the dimensionment of this process. But if we have a lot of interconnected processes, we have to make optimization of a whole value chain. And we have to make the optimization not only in one substance, but the optimization on all the different substances from this value chain. So the shift of uh, this shift has uh, many, uh, many titles in uh, literature. Uh, it's mainly under the name of industrial ecology. Uh, we have uh, the keywords of material flow analysis, industrial symbiosis, verbund, which, may, which can uh, significate the best composite products of all these processes. So this shift in terms of modelization introduces uh, two more levels of complexity than this, uh, uh, this configuration. The first one uh, is that we have to manage uh, different substances instead of one good from one process. And the second complexity is that we have to make the optimization between a lot of processes uh, with different objectives. So to make an example about that, uh, we choose a specific process, which is fertilizer production from a phosphate ore. Uh, so to make it uh, simple, uh, we have phosphates are from mining. Uh, we have a process of mining, a process of watch, uh, watching uh, uh, the ore. We have the process of phosphoric acid production and we have the process of fertilizers. So let's suppose that we have an objective for this whole value chain. So among the objective, we have uh, heavy metal removal, uh, specifically cadmium, which is some of the objective given by some clients. So this objective can be achieved uh, through many possibilities. It can be achieved here, here, or here. So if you give the optimization of this uh, objective to a traditional uh, process, uh, config, uh, process tools, they can make the optimization in each process, but they can't do easily the optimization for the whole value chain. So we propose to make such optimization with Modelica. So in order that we have, well, a physical model that I will not go into the details. We have the quantities and the yields and their uh, different uh, uh, and there are different uh, hypotheses. And we have to optimize the turnover uh, minus uh, cost and minus uh, decadmination costs under the constraints that uh, the decadmination must be 
uh, and those uh, uh, must be on the specification of the clients. So uh, we make the whole process in Modelica. So here we have the value chain and we added blocks for financial valorizations. And at the end, we have the sales in order to optimize the sales minus the costs in the different, uh, in the different steps. And what is interesting for Modelica is that we have the connector that they cause all the interesting variables during the whole value chain. So we can have the different quantities of the goods, the different quantities of the chemical species like cadmium, phosphor, so all uh, the, chemical, uh, the chemical substances that we are interested in. And we have, of course, the potential variables of the concentrations, the oxidoreduction, et cetera, and uh, the energy. So we make different scenarios and uh, we test decadmiation under different scenarios. Uh, I think the main conclusion to have is that the, the solutions are so close the ones to the another uh, that it is necessary to have the modernization of the whole value chain uh, to get the good solution for the good phosphate ore and for the good uh, industrial configuration for each client. So just to say that the solution is not obvious in itself, uh, and we must have uh, such modernization to do it. So uh, that was the business case. We will just make a quick comparison with other products uh, that uh, could simulate either process or material flow analysis. So for making material flow analysis, uh, there is a very good tool which, uh, which is called uh, STAN. Uh, so it's very good at making a quick material and substance flow uh, dynamic analysis uh, in a system including subsystems, but we cannot make process optimization with it, and neither we can make uh, financial valorization. Uh, of course, uh, we are comparing products as what they are good for, uh, not uh, improbable extensions which can make each product and not natural. Of course, there is process design tools like Aspen. So they are very good at designing one process. Uh, they have very good chemical and thermodynamic library. They are very good at a specific design of the process, but I don't think they are adapted to make optimizations in a whole value chain, like the simple uh, example we uh, can see. Finally, we have the environment of Modelica. Of course, Modelica cannot go uh, in the same level of detail than uh, a tool like Aspen, but uh, with Modelica as the example above, and even with example a little bit more complex, we can make a high level design of a platform, uh, of industrial platform, including many processes and many substances. Uh, of course, this, uh, this design can be generalized to a whole life cycle. So let's suppose that we have some uh, some optimization, including even the downstream of fertilizer, so, so even in uh, the farming, uh, et cetera. Uh, so we can include even the downstream of the industrial cycle and make uh, an optimization in the whole life cycle. So what is necessary, uh, what is the perspective uh, of use for Modenica? Uh, so I think the first step to, uh, to do such optimizations is to have a set of library industrial processes. So we can have a library which includes a uh, lot of uh, very 
uh, important processes. Uh, of course, once more, not in the same level of a library like Aspen, but enough to make uh, optimizations in uh, interconnected processes. It will become to be interesting when we will connect it with user modelica components, electrical and mechanical. Uh, but this will be quite difficult because uh, here we are at a big scale of a plant and here uh, we are at a small scale of components. That's why, uh, why I think that a third category of components will be necessary to, uh, to make the link. Uh, and especially to build a thermochemical library that will have a strong link with, uh, with these two libraries and that will make uh, the link between uh, the energy flow from electrical and thermodynamic components here and the industrial uh, plants here. Uh, so we, have, we can have uh, the thermodynamic flow between uh, uh, thermodynamic and chemical reactions that can uh, occur here. So if we can achieve that, uh, we can uh, succeed in making uh, this kind of optimization in uh, the whole value chain and even of a life cycle of uh, different products as, uh, and substances. Thank you very much, and I'm ready to uh, answer two different questions.